Hi, Craig Birch here from Tenable. Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can use Tenable AD to uncover AD attack pathways often missed by AD audit and SIM solutions. Tenable AD can help you find AD misconfigurations that lead to open AD attack pathways that are often missed by audit and SIM solutions. One of the most common AD misconfigurations that I find in customer environments is the admin count attribute set on standard users. This Active Directory attribute is used to identify protected users and groups within AD and actually blocks the inherited permissions to protect the integrity of these accounts and groups. So how does this get set? There's a process called SDProp that runs Every 60 minutes in Active Directory, looking at the admin SD holder value and actually propagates this admin count value of one to all these protected users and groups in Active Directory. So let's actually go into Active Directory users and computers and see what I'm talking about. As you can see, we have an account here, Clint Eastwood. He's a member of the domain admins group. And you can see here that the admin count is set to a value of one. So let's say that through normal you know, administration process, we went in, was doing an AD audit, and we were looking at the Clint Eastwood account, and we came out and found out that he had a He's a member of the domain admins, but Clint Eastwood has actually moved on to a new role and no longer requires this permission in Active Directory. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then hit apply. And we would expect that Active Directory would actually clean up after itself, but I'm going to tell you that it doesn't. As you can see, if we come back in here, the admin account value is still set to one. And this user is no longer in one of those protected groups. So let's look at what Tenable AD shows about this. So if we go into Tenable AD, the first thing we'll see is that we need to redo a refresh. We'll see that we actually have a new alert triggered that is sent into the system or email or even your SIM where the standard account with admin account value is set. So we can actually go to the actions panel and click on CDVNs. So let's do that. This will actually open up our trail flow log for this account. And now we can see that we're dealing with Clint Eastwood. And if we dig down into the deviances, and scroll down, we'll see that we now have a new value, a new AD attack pathway that's been opened up on Clint Eastwood's account in Active Directory because he's no longer in that, you know, one of those protected groups, but he still has that value of one, which is really preventing him from getting inherited permissions on his account, which is no longer needed. Let's actually go to the indicators of exposure panel and see what this looks like. So now if we go in, we'll see this new tile here. It's called admin count attribute set on standard users. And if we open it up again, we'll see the deviant objects tab. And we'll see that again, we have Clint Eastwood, that he has an admin account other than zero on his admin account attribute other than zero stamped on his account. And he's a standard user. If we look at the recommendations tab, it's basically going to tell us only a current members of administrative group should have this value set to one. So let's follow the remediation guidance that Tenable AD has provided us. Let's go back into Active Directory users computers, go to that attribute tab and now click on admin count and click on edit and clear the value. Okay, hit apply and okay. 
And now let's jump back into Tenable AD and see that we no longer have that object flag. So as you can see, by using Tenable AD, it searches deep and wide to uncover AD attack pathways that are often missed by AD audit and some solutions.